Hello my friends, welcome back. In this video, we are going to make use of environment variables to secure our keys inside our application. As it stands now, the keys that we don't want to be public to the user right now is our um, our key here when we are creating a token for the user and our config, our db file too that we don't need to be sorry, our db connection string okay so we are going to make use of a package called .env so let's see how that one is being used so when you go to google npm and then google for .env as you can see how popular this package is so let's grab it and then go come back to application shut down the server, paste it here and let me kiss of John and to John app like that. It's really simple to use. So what dot env that is that it it always hides your secret keys, for example, your API keys or any sensitive information you don't want to be accessible to any user when you push your project to git repository. So after that one is done, so let's go back to our application. On our server route, let's import that package. Okay. So since we make use of a real photo application, you don't need the mongoose here. Let me trash it here. I don't need the user also because all of these are inside my user route. So let me import the .env we just installed. Let me say dot cons dot env env equal to required and then dot env like that so i can i'll have to call it as a function here dot env dot config as that right so let's try to console of process dot env and see what we have so here I can come down below my route and say console.log process.env that is the environment. So when you come back to terminal, let me start my server again and let's see what we have. We have a lot of what env inside application, right? So we are going to append or attach our custom environment variables into this object so this is what we do let's create inside your project um, root folder here let's create a file called env and then let's provide a key so let me say jwt secret key or for the meantime, let's install, let me say my name here is equal to, don't bring any quotation mark and say Emma or Emma or whatever. So now that we have this environment variables here, we can access this environment variables as process.env.myName. So I can copy the value here, the property here. So let me come back to my server here and then on the process.env, I have this property attached to the environment variable. So when you console log it and come back to application, I think it will. You see, I have email here. So that's why we are going to make use of that. So instead of using just my name, we are going to make use of the key. So here I'll make it JWT underscore secret, secret key. And then what's the value? It was Node.js, right? Like that. So let me copy this one. Um, copy this value and then save it. So let me go to where am I using the, the key inside my utils. Okay. Instead of having this started like this, I'm going to make use of process.env.j wt secret so let's save it and come back here and log in if you can still have the token excellent you are good to go right so next where do i need my mongodb connection string right so here 
I can say here as what uh, Mongo MongoDB URL and I'm using I change I change my EB, DB URL to local URL here so I felt it was this one right you can make use of that but I prefer to use a local one okay so I think it's cool copy this one the whole of this one here and then come back and then paste it here okay so we have this property on the environment variable so instead of this one I can trust this and say process dot env dot value right, so let's go back to application terminal and see where am I having the error MongoDB connection let me restart again and see where the error is coming from okay I think promises whatever so let me go back to it's my the error might be from here process dot env dot mongodb url so let me check and see if it's correct so why well is the error okay so let me come back here and I'm going to and see if it work yeah it will I think it because of the environment variable so let's do that so let me copy everything let me cut it okay and come back to the env file and then paste it here save it and then come back here where is my DB connection and make use of process dot env dot mongo sorry the value is what mongodb url and then save it let's go back and see okay anytime you make changes to your EMV file, I have to restart the server. So let me do it. I try and see, restart it and see where the error is coming from. Well, I have, to have the same error. Well, okay, I think the error is coming from what? Because of the connection string. Process.emv.mongodburl. The same thing as that. Yeah. But where is the error? Undo it in something. Yeah. Let me see. It's working. <laughs> this way. Oh. I remember. Let me see where I'm calling my MongoDB connection string here. Yeah. Here, right? Because where is my MongoDB? This line of code. Because I called the .env config file before my MongoDB connection string function. So I have to bring this one below my .env. So let me come back to the here and then for this one, let me copy the property name here like that and then come back here and then make use of my environment variable here process.env dot like that save it and let's see and i believe we are good to go so let's wait for a while i think we change this to the dot env we are good to go okay so guys that is how we do we make use of dot env um, package to hide any sensitive information you don't want to expose there outside world. Thanks for watching.